All right, welcome back. The Chinese New Year will be celebrated tomorrow. And this morning, we are getting in on all the fun and learning a little bit about the culture with Greg Richards. He's the owner of Walk Asian Bistro in Northville. How are you guys celebrating? Well, tomorrow, uh, so Chinese New Year itself is tomorrow. Okay. And so uh, we're going to celebrate tomorrow and Sunday. So we're doing a menu that talks about the symbolism behind all the Chinese, uh, the different uh, food that we have. So it, it so has symbolism similar to, I know in, uh, in the South, there's an American tradition of <clears throat> eating, let's say, black eyed peas and ham and cabbage. And it's supposed to be symbolic of money and prosperity. Right. So there are similar traditions. Bingo. Exactly. Same thing. So, um, so for example, like, uh, so our spring rolls here, uh, they represent, they look like little wealth bar, or little gold bars, and so they, they represent golden. wealth. And yeah. They are golden. So, yeah. and, and same thing on our orange ginger over here, we have the little uh, mandarin oranges, and so because those look like a gold bar, it's a, another way to, to represent, uh, you know, wealth in the coming what year. What about the tofu? So the tofu um, means uh, it's bless this house. So it's kind of cool. So you want to eat tofu, and they want to make sure it's fried because white color in Chinese New Year is actually bad luck. So red is uh, representing happiness and um, togetherness, and it wards off uh, bad spirits. So you'll notice like the different reds we have yeah, on yeah, here. Yeah, you see a lot of red when you see some of the, exactly. uh, the design and, and uh, uh, elements as, uh, along those lines. Yeah. You mentioned so. that for your birthday. You're supposed yeah. to eat noodles. Why is that? Yeah, so because the noodles um, represent long life, and so we have a couple noodle dishes. So we have our cucumber peanut sesame noodles there. And then this is our Thai peanut dish, probably the most popular one in the restaurant with our uh, rice noodles so it's gluten free. And um, as you know, in the restaurant, we feature, uh, you know, uh, we use different walks for every single dish. Yeah. So if you have allergies or dietary restrictions, um, you know, food preferences, you don't have to worry about being on the same surface anybody else was. So you were talking before we uh, started this segment about the fact that you guys don't cut the noodles. And right. go back to that. What, why okay. exactly is that? So we um, so you, we don't serve a knife with the noodles because of the fact that it's superstitious. If you were to, to cut the noodle with a knife, is that gonna, if the restaurant cuts them or even if the anybody. diner? Yep. Yeah. So that's why they use chopsticks. You just eat the noodles as a whole. They don't use knives for that exact reason because it's superstitious to use them. And then you'll you'll cut your life. You Tying know? into the longevity, exactly. the length of the noodles. Exactly. So we've got our sweet and sour we're making here. So our in-house sweet and sour sauce. So you're not going to find any corn syrups or food dyes or that crap in the restaurant. So while we're celebrating Chinese New Year, we also want to emphasize the fact that we are like the first farm to table Asian style uh, concept using all fresh ingredients, local ingredients, um, import a lot of beers and uh, we have some sakes which are Japanese but you know everybody likes to drink. Yeah, so I mean, you know, the make the more the merrier. So this actually I brought this for you because I know you're a big drinker here of uh, this is I was told <laughs> I was told that this had therapeutic benefits for, for my uh, chest thing. That so I got uh, this is Yan Jing. It's the uh, number one selling uh, beer in China. We bring in. it's a rice beer. Yeah. So it's a lot lighter. So for it's those, like a lager. Yeah, exactly. So it's a light lager. And so for those that haven't uh, had uh, any Asian beers, this is a great like introductory beer to the Asian cu culture. <laughs> yeah, I, I approve this message. So uh, <laughs> and go mushrooms too. And we're, we're making the sweet and sour here. Now, we were talking about this being the year of the rooster. Yes. What, so, what are some of the traits of the rooster and who are some of the famous roosters? Okay, so roosters, uh, so basically what happens is each, um, each year that you're, you're born is a sign, kind of like a, as opposed to being like a Scorpio or a Virgo or right. something, where it's a, a specific it's period. It's the year. It's the whole year. So this is the year of the rooster. So um, technically, it's, uh, if, you, if you look online, it's like trustworthiness and loyalty. Um, Hardworking is the character traits of Man, roosters, maybe a right? Rooster. No, so I'm yeah, there's, there's a good chance <laughs> someone in here is a rooster. I'm not a rooster, but you know, <laughs> it's just, there's other traits. Uh, and then, uh, so some famous ones, so like Britney Spears is a okay. rooster. Uh, Jennifer Lopez, uh, Bob Marley as a rooster too. So some some good dogs roosters like his those. music. By yes. the way, I don't know if you knew that the dogs they, they, they like Bob Marley. There you go. So um, so in the restaurant too, you've also got your choice of organic chicken, Angus beef, Thai shrimp, or tofu into any dish. Um, and so this one here. Uh, we added the tofu for uh, any of those, uh, you know, vegans and vegetarians. And then uh, our special dessert that we have going through Valentine's Day, these are the red velvet cheesecake wontons. Nice. So I feel like I'll just put these back here for you. Yeah, that, that, are, that's, that's a good place go. for So them, those man. are an awesome dessert to come in. So I'm going to plate this up for you real quick. You guys are in Northville. Where exactly are you located? And tell me about the hours that we'll be able to check you out this weekend. Yeah, so we're in downtown Northville, so uh, just north of the racetrack there. 144 Mary Alexander Court. Um, if you're online, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, you can find us as well. And walkasianbistro.com. And then uh, this weekend, we open at 1 on Saturday, and then we open at noon on Sunday. 
come on out and uh, we're closed on Mondays, but we do cooking classes and uh, coming up in uh, February, we're doing a tour of Asia. So five dishes from five different countries in Asia. So you kind of learn all about the differences and everything. So. You can learn to rest, walk uh, Asian Bistro. Absolutely.